Welcome home. I've never seen it this clear before. And we're so excited to say to you guys that we have officially, well, it's not official, but almost we, official. It's almost official that we've, we've come to an agreement to buy this land. <laughs> This specific property here is, is actually a thousand feet above Boguete. And it's crazy how significantly cooler it is here in the mornings than it is down in Boguete. Sorry, I'm all stuffed up because I just am coming over a cold. But you can tell, like, the second you come up here, it feels like a New England fall morning. And that is absolutely one of my favorite things ever. And we're gonna get this all year round. Look at the trees behind you, too. Like, those, it looks like we're in New Hampshire. Like you don't see that anywhere in Central America. No. I've said this to Jordan before and we've agreed. And Doug actually Hello guys. said this as well when he first arrived here was that it reminded him of almost a combination of Hawaii and New Hampshire. Am yep. I right? Absolutely. Yep. So you get Hawaii, the feels of the volcano, All the mountains. and the mountains and the ridges, and, the and then right and the waterfalls, and then right behind us you get the feel of the pine trees, like good old New Hampshire. So we've been talking about what kind of the first steps are. So obviously water and electricity are going to be first. And I think that's going to be happening a lot sooner than we think. We're trying to, the rainy season here only goes for about another two months. And they're telling us it's going to take about two months to close on the land. But we're trying to put into the contract that we can come on and start working on water collection before. So right, right after we sign, we're trying to put into the contract that we can come and start putting water collection materials on the land. The yeah, so we, can, so we can collect water in the rainy season. So you guys can see the slant, the natural slope of the land here. And the good thing is I have my dad here to help us because he's taught me everything that I know. Absolutely right. So wait, You're wait. welcome, Jordan. So wait, <laughs> Unfortunately, as you guys have seen me struggle through the years, it's not a heck of a lot, but it's good, <laughs> it's good enough to get me by. If you guys remember, my dad and I built a bed, what was it, two years ago now? Yeah. And that's still, that's still today is one of our most viewed videos. And my dad says it's because of his ass. I put asses in the seats, baby. So, position. I just want to take a quick break from this video to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, and that sponsor is Dashlane. Dashlane is helping us afford this land by sponsoring this video, so we just want to say thank you to them. What Dashlane does is they help people like me, because I'm not very smart, and I have a hard time remembering my logins and my passwords. So what Dashlane does is they help keep all your passwords safe by keeping them encrypted onto your computer. All you need to do is remember one master password that you enter into Dashlane and it'll autofill everything that you have for Facebook or Google or your bank or YouTube or any important login that you have. Dashlane will remember it, it will store it. And the good news is you can use Dashlane totally for free. Zero dollars, they have a free service. Just use a link right in the top of the description. Or if you'd like, you can use the Dashlane Premium Service, which allows you to use Dashlane across multiple devices. And you can try out that premium service one month for free. And if you like it, you can use our discount code and get an extra 10% off. So, seems like a no-brainer to me. Sounds good to me. There's a lot of ways that people can get your information. So make sure you keep it safe. Let's go back to the video. I think Lola loves this land more than everyone. <laughs> she hasn't stopped running this whole time. <laughs> Who's that good girl? <laughs> The only thing is, she uh, really likes smelling like cow poop, so she's been rolling around in it all morning. One more of the little good piece of news. Look at that internet speed. So we're totally just going to use our cell phones for Wi-Fi, and we're in the middle of nowhere. The fact that we get... We're going to build a live stream. Five megabytes of upload. Whew. We're going to build, I think, a yurt right here, looking out there. And that's just so we can also start to get some people down here. We want to get friends that want to help. We want you, you guys that are really interested in coming down. We want you to be able to come down. And I think the yurt is what the, is going to kind of be like a first permanent structure. I think that's the spot. And then over here for the rain, rainwater collection tanks. And they'll be hidden by the yurt. Yeah. And that will be up high enough so gravity will feed the water down to the rest of the houses. Isn't, isn't it great that he came around? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> oh guys, we can't wait to get going. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty rough ride. Hey, let's go, <laughs> baby! Now you can't start it up. Kaylee's learning how to drive a clutch because all the cars here are manual, and we're gonna we're about to buy a truck so we can lug all the stuff up to the land. And yeah, Kaylee needs great. to be able to drive it. So while we have that this rental with a manual, right. she's gonna learn. Any guesses how you guys think it's gonna go? How do you think it's gonna go? Not well, but we'll have fun. You don't have faith in me? Oh, absolutely not. What? Well, let's let's see if You're I'm just right. like Jordan. Okay, great. I'm a pro. Okay, yeah, yeah she's coming up here for the shift. Your, uh... My game face? Yeah. <laughs> Enough momentum to keep it oh, okay. Clutch in. Clutch, Clutch in. in. Clutch in to ship. Clutch Wait, in. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> wow, I did so much better than you did that on the first time. Oh, that's good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. Smell that? I don't think it smells that bad. <laughs> it was just that last one. Do you know what one. that smell is? I really can't smell anything right now. <laughs> Some good old clutch burn. <laughs> Did well. Oh, good good job. Not bad for you. You having fun, fun flying the drone over here? Yeah, all I'm doing is pushing up. Hey guys. Do you guys want to see my dad's drone footage? It's the first time. First time ever I've done this. You ready? questions in rapid fire. Number one, what do you guys think about the AeroPress? I don't know if I like it that much. It's very overrated, I think, in my opinion. Let us know. Question number two, what do you guys think of our camera? We've been thinking about upgrading. We're thinking about filming a like, full, real documentary of this process of building out a permaculture, off-grid, tiny house but, community. But, as many of you guys know, we have a lot of issues with autofocus. Yeah, so I think the way this camera looks is great. Hate the autofocus. So what do you guys think? You guys think we should go with the upgrade? Third question, what do you guys think about our name? The Nomadic Movement? Because we're planning on keeping it. Uh, even though that we're buying a piece of land, building out a permaculture farm, we're still like consider ourselves nomadic. This is not a permanent place for us at all. We still plan on traveling a ton and we don't plan on spending forever here. This is just the next step and it allows us to travel everywhere that we want to go. South America, Argentina for the eclipse coming up in 2020 will definitely be there. Allows us to go to so many places. And another big thing too that I think we've been thinking about a lot is the name kind of ties in with how we want to have a lot of travelers and nomadic people come to help out or just be involved in the community of the property um, and kind of bring a new depth to the name of Nomadic Movement. So it's not just us being nomads, but also the people that come down and become a part of our community with us. So, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. And it's cold up there. So we went out for a little night on the town for our last meal. Took my dad out to a restaurant that we have not actually been to before. It was an awesome little Italian place. We had an amazing meal. It just felt so good to show my dad our new world and our new home. And just to, uh, you know, just talk about the whole experience a little bit and what our plans are. So the two of us hopped in bed last night. We had our little cuddles with Lola. We watched a movie. And then we w I woke up this morning, drove my dad to the airport, said goodbye. And now it's just the two of us again. And Lola. Who's that good girl? <laughs> and we're back in the bus, and these last few days have felt like a whirlwind. Yeah. These last like, few weeks, I would say. I know, I know. From going to Panama City, getting our bus impounded, not having our bus for four or five days, Being running in the all over creation, but then it ended with the most amazing thing of having Doug, Jordan's dad, come down and getting to spend some quality time with family. It felt amazing. And he's the first person that we've shown our new home to. But the good news is, Things are about to start getting amazing for us. Yeah. 
we're, we're finalizing this land. We're gonna probably be on it in about two weeks, we hope, if everything goes smooth. Yeah. Maybe two or three weeks. Yeah. And then we're finally gonna get some shovels, gonna get some overalls, and we're getting down and dirty, baby. Wait, why are we getting overalls? We gotta look stylish when we're doing it. <laughs> Kid is gonna be the only stylish farmer in existence. <laughs> So this is where we're gonna let you guys go. We hope you love coming along for this one. We love you guys very much. Thank you so much for coming along, enjoying this journey with us, all of your encouragement, all of your support, all of your excitement with us for this next big step for us. It's been so fun to take you guys along for the ride and have you guys get just as excited as we do, so. So, that's about it.